Good day. The discussion for today is about one of the agencies here in the Philippines, which is the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. What is Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines? Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is an independent regulatory body with quasi-judicial power, quasi-legislative power, and possessing corporate art attribute. I repeat, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is an independent regulatory body with quasi-judicial power, quasi-legislative power, and possessing corporate attribute. Also, Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is attached to the Department of Transportation and Communication, also known as the OTC. It is attached to the Department of Transportation and Communication, also known as the OTC. Who headed the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines? It is headed by Director General of Civil Aviation, who is, shall be appointed by the President of the Philippines, and shall have a tenure of office for a period of four years. These four years is extended for another non-extendable term of four years. Who is the Director of Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines? The Director of Director General of CAAP is Captain Jim C. Sidyonko. I repeat, the Director General of CAAP is Captain Jim C. Sidyonko. What are the qualifications of Director General of CAAP? The, under the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, no person shall be appointed or designated as Director General unless he is a Filipino citizen, at least 35 years of age, have a good moral character, unquestionable integrity, recognize competence, and a degree holder with at least 5 years of supervisory or management experience in the field of aviation. What are the power and functions of Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines? The power and functions of Civil Authority of the Philippines is that it is the National Aviation Authority of the Philippines and is responsible for for implementing policies on civil aviation to assure safe, economic, and efficient air travel. The agency also investigates aviation accidents via its Aircraft Accident Investigation and Inquiry Board. The chart flash on the screen is the organizational structure of Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. We can see here the Chief ATS, below that is the Assistant Chief ATS, below that is the Safety Management System staff, and below that we have the three departments, namely Air Traffic Control and Airspace Management Department, Aeronautical Information and Communication Department, Planning, Evaluation, Standards, and Personal Development Department. Under the Air Traffic Control and Airspace Management Department, we have here the Air Space and Flight Procedure Design Division, Area Control Division, Approach Control Division, and Aerodrome Control Division. Under the Area Control Division, we have a facility named ACC Facilities. We have also facilities in the Approach Control Division called APP Facilities. Also, we have uh, facilities in the Aerodrome Control Division called TWR Facilities. Now, let's go on Aeronautical Information and Communication Department. Here, we have the Aeronautical Information Service or MAP Division, Aeronautical Telecommunication Division. Under the Aeronautical Information Service or MAP Division, we have the I 
AIS facilities and aeronautical telecommunication division we have the comms facilities <coughs> planning now let's go on planning evaluation standards and personal development department we have here two the ATS evaluation and project <coughs> development maintenance and implementation division and personal training proficiency and progression division under the organizational structure of civil aviation authority you have this the safety management staff air control and airspace management division aeronautical information and communication planning evaluation and personal division the office of enforcement and legal service <coughs> Under the safety management system staff, we we carry out safety performance and performance monitoring, perform safety assessment, regularly perform safety auditing, and safety promotion. Under air traffic control and airspace management division, we can see here the how they supervise and ban manage air traffic control service provided with the within the Philippines air, airspace and all controlled airports, airports to ensure safe, orderly, and expeditious conduct of air traffic. It is also, we can see here how they conduct investigation of aircraft accidents or incidents and perform safety monitoring of the operation of ATS facilities. Now, let's go on aeronautical information and communication division here they ensure the flow of information necessary for safety regularity and efficiency of international or air navigation provide administrative service and flight information and assistance service nationwide next planning evaluation and personal personal division it provides overall administrative services, execute administrative policies, rules, and regulation, and analyze management problems and provide solutions. Monitor and provide logistical support for ATS general service requirements, program training requirements, facility proficiency, and career development of ATS personnel. The eight now and last one, the eight the Office of Enforcement and Legal Service. Here, this office shall provide adequate legal assistance and support to the Director General and to the authority as a whole in the exercise of quasi-legislative and quasi-judicial power. So, let's proceed to the responsibilities of CAP or the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. So CAP is a multilateral government agency responsible for the regulation of aviation in the Philippines. So they establish and prescribe rules and regulation for the inspection and registration of all aircraft owned and operated in the Philippines and the all air facilities. And also uh, establish the correspond corresponding rules and regulation for the enforce enforcement of laws governing air transportation and uh, operate and maintain nas national airports, air navigation, and other similar facilities, ad and administer and operate the Civil Aviation Training Center. Next slide. Oh, so let's continue to the recruitment of CAAP. So first is application, examination nationwide, panel interview, physical examination, and the qualification requirements also documentary requirements so for qualification requirements must be natural born citizen of the philippines single not married not more than 26 years old of mid 25 2019 of course um, physically and mentally and psychologically uh, having a good moral character with good command of oral and written English. Also, with no criminal or administrative case 
or record in the Philippines. It has not been dishonorably separated from government or private services. Uh, also, baccalaureate degree holder of any course, computer literate uh, with 20 over 20 vision or without wearing glasses, lenses, and not color blind. Uh, the next is documentary requirements. So, number one, duly accomplished application forms, diploma with authenticated copy, and transcript of records, authenticated copy, together with birth certificate, police clearance, NBA clearance, and last one is two pieces, two by two photo, colored picture with white background. Um, next slide. So let's proceed in the next slide. Trainings in CAM. CATC means Civil Aviation Training Center. The center provides an original basis to advanced training courses, areas of management instructions, and other aviation disciplines. Next is the national courses in the fields of air traffic control, airways, communications, and air navigation facilities. Maintenance are programmed to meet the training requirements. Thank you.